Hello, my Aquarius friends. It's Anna here. I've got some tarot and some water. And I know that that's not the name of the channel, but it's a little late in the evening for me. It's 20 after 11, so there's no tea right now. Anyways, we are here to pull some cards for our upcoming full moon. So the full moon is Wednesday, May 26th, 2021, and it is a full moon in Sagittarius. Um, lots going on with this moon. It's also a blood moon, so we have a full lunar eclipse associated with it. It's a flower moon because we're looking at our spring moon, so everything is blooming and coming to life. Um, and blossoming so originally it was named the flower moon and it is also super moon so it's one of like the uh, it's gonna look like it's one of the largest moons that we're going to see in this lunar cycle because it's one of the ones that's closest to the earth where we are right now three days after the full moon we have mercury going retrograde too so it's gonna be a fun week next week and I'm in Ontario and we're in like lockdown stay at home mode so it's like if you weren't going crazy already uh yeah let's just add in a full moon and a mercury retrograde all in the same week that's gonna be fun 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 all right so for my aquarius friends oof, what we need to release there we go uh, transformation, how to reach their fullest potential with this full moon. What transformation needs to take place for my Aquarian friends. Yeah, I just want one card. what's illuminated at this time or coming to light right now and what's our divine message from the universe for my Aquarian friends Interesting. All right. My Aquarian friends, what you need to release and let go of is the Five of Swords, Five of Michael. This is the Archangel Power Tarot deck. So um, the minor arcana are actually named after archangels. And Michael being the sword wielding badass that he is, he is the sword minor suit. Uh, so this situation doesn't serve you. What's going on Aquarius? Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting ap approach. There's a saying, uh, and I might butcher it here, and ap I apologize in advance if I do, let go or let God, right? So if there's a situation right now and you don't know how to react to it or you don't know what choices to make just give it up just let it go let whatever is naturally going to happen play out and you might end up seeing some other options all right but right now it just does not work for you now this of course is not going to it's not going to resonate with everybody Take what does from this reading and leave the rest, okay? Um, but if you have a situation that does not serve you, if you have something that, you know, makes you miserable and you, you don't know why you do it or you don't know why you put up with this, whether it's a situation or a person, 
you know, some things that really aren't meant for us will come back and repeat themselves to us again and again and again and again because we're not getting the message. And the message is that this situation doesn't serve you. So get it gone. All right? Transformation, how to reach my fullest potential. And it is the two of Raphael. Now there's water in the background that tells me cups. Two of cups is all about a coupling. Now it doesn't always have to be a romantic love or partnership. It can be corporate partnership, right? It could indicate a merger or something going on at work. It doesn't have to be you know, like a, a romantic relationship, okay? So depending on, on how this reading is maybe applying to you, okay? Um, maybe if it's a work situation, you have a collaboration at work and you're going to have to work on a team or you're going to have to work with somebody else very closely in order to, to get where you need to be within that job. Okay, maybe you've got something coming up and it's going to be a real like, like prove your worth to the company and you're working with somebody else on this presentation and it's going to end up being the most fulfilling thing that you are the most passionate about and you're going to just get all the love in the world from the company and your boss, maybe a promotion, pay increase, who knows, corner office, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, if it's not, uh, you know, uh, job related, if it actually has a, a romantic feel for you, then what it could be you know, Aquarius, you are an air sign. And air signs deal a lot with intellect. So it's, there's a lot of like in your mind stuff, right? In your head. So there might be something, you might need to find like an intellectual counterpart to help you you know, get where you need to be to do what you need to do. Um, it's kind of a tough one. I, I don't always like taking cards to the, the lovey dovey, you know, but sometimes they've, they've got to go there. Right. Maybe there's that kindred spirit that is you know, about to smack you in the face and you've, you've got to let go of whatever's here. Maybe this isn't job related. Maybe this is person related. Maybe this is relationship related, right? If you are married to dating, whatever, like the most negative Nelly, you need to turn that stuff around and become more positive because you uh, bring about what you think about or talk about, right? If you're focusing on something and it's negative, then you're just going to bring more of the same into your life. And who wants that? Nobody. So find that kindred spirit. They will help you turn that around because there are probably, if you're down in the dumps about something, they will probably be the most positive person who makes you feel absolutely amazing like you can do anything and they're just mirroring back to you what you should already know about yourself right we we meet people and people are our mirrors and it's funny that you know sometimes we need that reminder that we can do this because you lose sight of it yourself, right? I'm drying out on you, Aquarius. All right, so illumination, what is coming to light now? And it would be the King of Cups. Now he's warm, generous, honorable, and refined. 
Yes, it is safe to trust. The ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Right? So let go of what's no longer serving you. That's what our Five of Swords is telling us. Right? This is like a card of conflict. Whatever this is, if you're going to keep it in your life, then you're going to be constantly battling it in some way, shape, or form. Constantly. It is a card of conflict. Okay? Um, but if you're going to find this person, right, this is telling you right here, if you have found this person or you're finding this person, it's safe to trust, okay? It's safe to know that, that this is going to work itself out. You can multitask. It's not a problem. And follow your creative passions. Whatever lights you up, go with it. People far too often don't follow what lights them up and then they end up in positions where they're miserable and unhappy and really don't want to be doing what they're doing and it's a pity and your divine message from the universe my Aquarian friends is divine guidance this is also known as the Hierophant and it is a cart of tradition okay he looks very pious, very popey, um, but he's representing for all the religions down there, right? He's got them all sewn into his cloak. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So what this card is asking you to do is perhaps not to do things the way they've always been done right? Consider a different approach. The hanged man is also, um, you know, another card that is all about looking at things from a different perspective. So maybe that's what you need to do with this whole situation. With the cutting away of this and the finding and the collaborating with this, right? I hope this reading finds you well, Aquarian friends. I hope that you enjoy the full moon on the 26th. Uh, I'm looking at possibly starting like a monthly reading. If you wouldn't mind letting me know what you think down below, just leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really appreciate all of the support. Uh, and there's also a little bell down there, so if you want notifications the next time I post content, then you will get it if you click on that bell. All right, my Aquarian friends, you have a fabulous full moon. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.